Central BCC to Adam Boy Truck 1 on TAC 1. You won. Go ahead. You won. SWAT is needed for rapid deployment. Barricade hostage situation. Detective 42 Adam requests SWAT respond to CP at base of Mount Threshold Avenue. Stand by for additional details. University Police report forced entry by multiple armed suspects at approximately 2025. Location is 72 Mount Threshold Avenue, Hologen Research Facility. Suspects are armed and violent and have already shot multiple civilians on site. Initial intent appears to be destruction of the facility and research projects. You won. Roger. Show us en route. ETA, driving time. So, a bunch of college kids are visiting a clinic, a genetics facility. In the meantime, protesters have broken in with arms and are planning on destroying the animal facility, which is testing genes and such. Oh, okay. So this is like um, petty. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, or Peter, if you don't know the yeah, I was going to say, it's not a petty situation, it's a hostage situation. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, Peter, right, yeah. Puns, David. Okay. So many puns, covered in puns. Puns up to the bottom of your face, drowning in puns. So... Peter, essentially this extremist organization who love animals well, a lot. Well, this branch of extremists, not all of Peter are extremists. <laughs> Most. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. they, they are essentially holding up an animal research lab with a bunch of... And I'm guessing the college kids are the hostages. Yes, the college kids are the hostages and they're going in to study genetics and... Oh, okay. Obviously, I'm for the... I'm, my political views are what progresses mankind to the greater good. And if it means animal testing, or even human testing, then... I think human testing should be more of a... I think human testing is better. Especially if it's human people. Especially if it's people who've kind of like given consent and said, okay, pay me an extortionate sum and I don't mind a bit of a risky test. Yeah, I, I, I've actually me. signed up. I've actually signed up for that sort of thing. Hmm. So, and then if you, you know, die or something bad happens, you'd be kind of like, well, I shouldn't have taken that test. I shouldn't have agreed to that. Well, the idea is that uh, when I die, my body's actually going to science. Is it? So, yeah, my body's going to be used for uh, testing and whatnot when I die of that sort of thing. The uh, have only named there are websites well, that you can Sturgeon use, probably not websites to go with, but if you actually look into it, then you can sell your body to science instead of ruining the ground by filling up another grave site that's actually more damaging to the environment. But what do they do to However, your remains, though? I don't care. <laughs> oh, just done, just burn it. I mean, that is actually bad for the environment or something, I don't know. No, no, um, they do things like... If people are murdered but or are signed up for that sort of thing, then their bodies are put out in the fields and forensic students, students in university studying forensics, go out and they get to study about how you died. Um, See, that's, that's all interesting. However, that could get very Burke and Hare very quickly. Well, you know, we need a lot of research subjects. It'd be so convenient if a lot of people died right now. Um, hmm. Murder. That's that's for the paranoid man. I'm Stay not that me. paranoid I'm in that. But that, that actually happened though. That was Bur that's Burke and Hare. That was a true story. Yeah, but I'm not on Crime Watch. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we are playing, you know, a crime simulating, a crime busting simulator of sorts. So. Yes. Again, this is based off of a true event. The true yeah, event is Peter breaking into an animal facility where they're testing what? on rats. Was it actually Peter? P E T A. Um, or another animal <laughs> organization? Yes, but the likelihood right. is it was Peter. Terrible as they are, don't don't like don't throw out accusations that aren't true because then that's a bit oh. In all <laughs> fairness, we want some plausible in, deniability here. In all fairness, Peter, they me. defend Understood. like they Who don't want you? animals to be harmed. And it's good that they are passionate about something. But here, the tactic for this mission, anyway, is to come in from the top floor, because the bottom floor is too many exits, and the likelihood is you'll get shot mm. covering that area. So it's best to go in from get this open angle. And clear it. Copy, boss. Ultraviolet oh. light, not to be uh, confused with ultraviolence from Clockwork Orange. So so ultraviolence light. You walk into it, and you just disintegrate. Clear. Jackson. 
well, 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 what have we here, here, dear brothers? What what do you have here? It's very dark, I can't quite see at the moment. Sorry, I'm quoting Clockwork Orange. Oh, okay. The brilliant play. Mm. And novel. And film, yeah. Entry team to talk. Civilian ready but here to we can hear the gentle hum of the Roger tanks of radiation. Right. And hey. everything is blue screened. <laughs> oh no, host oh no, terrorists are here. We better blue screen all of our computers. Talk. This is entry team. Suspect killed. Windows has encountered Roger. a problem and blue screen have clear. failed. Winters Talk. Windows has encountered a problem. Civilian the problem is reality. terrorism. Stack up. Extremists are the, the problem. So actually, I know this is kind of a tangent to this, but on the subject of genetics... I, I don't think we're a stranger to tangents, so please do go on. The first human augmentation limb is being planted in the summer, and the what's so special about this is that it's plugged into the nerve system to the brain, so it's literally controlled by the mind. That is so okay. cool. Not only that, this is a person's arm, not only that, but the hand is able to feel. The robotic limb is able to pick up textures and feelings. I think we've, little, already, little I think we've actually talked about this before. But not on this show. Oh, not on this show. But okay. There's little well, nerve endings on the fingers of the robotic hands. It's plugged into the human nerve system and is plugged in so it can be controlled by the mind. That is amazing to me. And that is really cool. Secure her. Yeah. That's we some deus that's some deus ex right there. Do you reckon we're gonna get the people who are extremely against that a la Deus Ex? I don't there will probably be people like Purity first, but there's always people protesting against anything. Anything progressive. Yes. With you. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's people protesting against the internet. So Really? Oh, I don't know, the internet is pretty, you know, life consuming for a lot of people. I have to say that the internet brings us screensavers are like those fish. That mm. fish screensaver, you won't get that anywhere around. Oh. So here, is anyone in genetics and studying biology can tell me what that is? It's a genetic. Look at all that genetic right there. I'm an actor. I'm not a scientist. It's DNA. Quick study acting 102. Play video games. <laughs> uh, hammer the keyboards. That's how video games work when you're an actor. Yeah. So I'm trying to hit this guy, but the gun isn't... It looks like his hitbox isn't around the corner for me, so all of my pellets are phasing through him. Mm. It's That's kind of kind a of problem. Balls. But... I'll still get him anyway. <laughs> but stop paintballing me, Jesus! Quick on the trigger, I can It's a goddamn gunfight! Bring bullets next time! Regroup and stay okay, you got him. Shit, yeah. Don't shoot! <laughs> yeah, choke on that, you hockey mask wearing moron. Next time, uh -huh. trash. Jason ah, Voorhees, you are not. <laughs> no, Jason Voorhees had a machete. Roger, oh, yeah. Not to be confused with Machete himself. Regroup machete is me. an amazing film. Jack, you. Grindhouse is amazing. Yeah. So, here we have to go through cryogenics. Woo. Oh, Let's play it safe. please Use tell me there's like a, fr a liquid nitrogen mechanic somewhere, like canisters of it or something like there that. There are that would be canisters the best. of that explode. They don't freeze people; they just blow them away like an explosive. Oh, okay. But One person unarmed. I think I just, no, that has been a, a death scene in a film somewhere where a guy got covered in liquid nitrogen and when he was holding a gun, yet his arm smashed off. I'm sure that's what actually happens. It, just insta freezes you. It's yeah, horrifically like, cold. It's telling us to wear protect protective gear and clothing, but all we've got is this SWAT riot gear. Oh, uh, that'll okay. do. If I had brought C2 explosives, then I'd have blown that door clear. open. Move one ready. Mm. I got point. But no, I brought that shotgun. Are you just gonna kick the door open and shoot him before he gets? No, I, I told my teammates to go him to draw him away. And... Why are you yelling at me? Oh, I nice. pelleted him to death. To talk. We have a suspect down. 
Oh, you got him. Very good. But at least these Wait, students are safe. Here? Talk. This you is gotta stop those shooters. Really secured and ready to evacuate. Copy. Keep it up. Yeah, we know. God damn it, we're doing our job, okay? So what's interesting about this level is um, the when you actually hear the criminals speak, when you arrest them, they say how morally corrupt you are for not killing innocent civilians and breaking and entering. But, and saying you're just as bad as them. But you're trying to how kill... Dare, how dare you want to progress Copy. humanity? No, it's not even that. It's that they're holding hostages. You can't have a moral high ground when you're hostage taking. Mm. That's not how hostage taking works. No. So intense music for this one guy. Um, I have to say, this soundtrack is kind of funky. Like I feel like I should be in a car chase right now. I feel like I should be in like a really out of town club right now. This is techno for people that don't listen to techno. Mm. It's getting down with this fat bee. Can't really read what's on that book, but it's something about genetics. I'm unwillingly yeah. just kind of dancing on the spot right now. Mm. So here's another no biology smoking eating within this cryostasis tank. <laughs> I can imagine that someone comes out of cryostasis and they've got like a subway in their hand. Uh, no, you're going back into cryostasis. Half for that. eaten steak ranch sub. Get out of the way. Frozen to their body. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Get in so there here clear. is the. Like, you can see the Move, vapor guys. coming off their breath because it's so cold in there. No but threats. a good idea Continuing. for this room is to throw a gas grenade under the stairs. Oh. And just choke anyone out. But the room's clear. empty apart from that guy talk. who's Civilian down. Clear, but just suffering. It's not hostile. Try the lock. Oh. On it. Usually when you play through this room it's filled with guys. Unlocked. Well the randomization factor is uh <laughs> giving you a bit of bother then. It gives so much replay value. I wish more Open games clear. did that. Move on ready. Mm. Like just a little more Let's replay move. value. I do love the cacophony. Police, I have to say that the audio in this game, another complaint that I have about it. It's all very samey. Yeah. Or it's placed at inappropriate times. So everything topples over each other and it reaches a cacophony. And you Why can't did... hear some of the lines that are Tim, said. Tim, you were, you were looking away as gunshots and murder and ah was happening. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was shutting the door to save, to save lives. If someone dies in this level, you have to start over again. It's one of these levels. Oh, God. Mm. Again, <clears throat> I have to say, David, ask me how I thought this level went. Clear it. UCS. Tim, how did you think this Hands level go, go, go. went? No. That's a <laughs> fucking stupid question, you cretin. No, um... <laughs> this, this is... <laughs> this oh. is... This is alright, it's not awful. It's kind of difficult, but it's still fun at the same time. Okay, cool. It's, it's no Russian gangsters level. Um, it does get repetitive if you die over and over again, but it's not too difficult. So, it's like the right level. Isn't this the uh, second to last level before the uh, Sketch Girl expansion pack? Yes, this is. No, this is the last level. Oh, God. <laughs> We're going to be seeing the final boss of SWAT, i.e., the last guy you take down in this stage. Yeah, Some this will Unless, of course, that I do the expansion pack. Oh, okay. More on that later, but just rounding up these guys. This is a difficult area because there's loads of ways the guys can enter, and I've lost two of my guys. So I'm down to my last two, and sadly, they had grenades on them. I can't take grenades off of their corpses. Well, that would be a bit disrespectful. Oh no, Johnson's down, let me just take his load out. Um, well, it's more of a survival sort of thing. I need those grenades to progress, but I no longer have them. And it's, it's not like it's a personal item, like a photograph of his wife and kids. Oh, fair enough. 
Roger, I'm not going to throw a photograph or like a paper aeroplane with Can a note from his wife. Can you make or one of these whiny ass college students, please? They all complain when you arrest them. And their their voice acting is really whiny. It's even after you like kill the terrorist in front of or the extremist in front of them. It's like, no, why are you arresting me? I didn't do anything. Uh. Talk, this is entry team. Well, God damn it. Uh, okay. Roger, oh. Someone spilled milk on the floor or yogurt. No need to cry about it. Spilt milk. Yeah, yeah that's a joke. It so, it's I'm, I'm funny here a because week, of okay. sayings. Oh dear. So someone brought food into the labs, and we're not allowed to bring food into the labs. <gasps> oh god damn it! Oh, well, they brought a uh, hamburger, it's it's McDonald's and chips. It's literally I McDonald's, know. McDonald's other, carton and everything. Other fast food retailers are available. Yeah, um, okay, Burger King then. Yeah, and uh, chemical storage. Hey, hey. Hey, this reminds me of chemistry when I was at. studying A levels and GCSEs. I actually oh. have to say, a lot of these labs look like the areas that we studied in. <laughs> I don't know. The areas we studied in were a bit less dark and horrific. I would say. Well, me and you Our went to the same. School was not that bad. Try the walk. Me and you went Shit. to the same high school, didn't we? And we were in the same hall, so. Yeah. I'm guessing yeah. we had this. I'm yeah. guessing we had the same we're science teachers who were actually pretty awesome. Oh yeah, do you remember Ian? He was the funniest. Ian Townsend is the greatest, and that is so <laughs> local. That is so him, local. <laughs> name drop him, good, good. I bet you, I doubt he's watching. <laughs> he's Why like, would he watch this? My old students are making Why videos <laughs> about video games, cool. Watching this? Get it open, gas and clear. Move the CSR. Okay, so Animal research. Pain. Sadly, there are no animals in this area. They're all not added in. There's no extra ragdolls. But we're going into anim animal testing anyway. So animal we're expecting testing, no animals necessary. So we're expecting the terrorist leader to be in here because it's the animal Stay testing. Mm. I'd love it if he set out one of the dogs or something and then it pounced him. Oh, that'd be that'd be a brilliant little addition right there. I'm standing in urine right now. In the game. Uh, in the game. Gross. Oh, gross. That is. Oh, uh, it's on my feet. Luckily, I'm gonna arrest this guy on there. <laughs> this is for pissing on my shoes, Otto Khan. Suspect secure and ready for evac. Whiff. Copy. Stay sharp. You're wearing a hockey mask and taking hostages. It's kind of my job to stop you. Jesus. The point when you put on a hockey mask is when you know that you are the real villain. Yeah, you know, you know, as bad as these people may be with their, you know, unethical mm. animal, animal testing, you're taking hostages and hockey masks. You know, we're freeing civ we're freeing civilians, okay? Mm. And we may be contracted Opening by gates. corporations no and Switch. not really being for the people, but nonetheless, we're doing the right thing by setting innocent Just people free. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Take that, Jason. Yeah, so again, my teammates kill guys when I stun them, sadly. But what can you do? What can you do? There's the terrorist leader. He's dead. Oh. Final boss done. He was taking... He, he was taking... Yeah. The end. That was the final boss. Yeah. It's quite laughable, the idea of that. It would be quite silly if there was a final boss in this, honestly. It would just go against everything the game has set up so far. Quick, shoot the fuck me lights. Uh, it's like a tentacle monster and we have to handcuff each of the tentacles together. What? I don't know. Are you referencing like Borderlands or something? What? I guess so, I don't know. Okay. I, I really don't. So there are a few stragglers left over. I'm with you. Alrighty. Cut that clown. Let's Jason Vorheen. No, no, wait! Oh, no, she works here, apparently. She's not a student. Then where are your scrubs, man? Behind me.
She's still and whiny. So here is a little aspect where we're working in for the corporations in a way. We're meant to save this guy. He's the head researcher. But if you heard that, he was asking for a briefcase. We're meant to secure a briefcase holding something like genetic codes written on paper. This was the worst. Or a hard drive. Entry team to talk. But that's okay. just a little ready side thing. We have to Entry secure the briefcase. So that means we have to go out of our way and look through all of the scenery and find a briefcase. Luckily, it was right next to him, so no problems oh, been, there. I'm guessing that could have been really annoying. Really, like, just backtracking the whole it, level. If you miss it, that, there is a lot of backtracking in this game if you miss something. Uh, luckily, I rarely miss something because I, the way that I cover the levels is the most efficient way, so you don't really have to backtrack. Okay. So it's Thorough. really all about... Yeah, it's more about doing things in a certain way and being efficient. And... Get down! Uh, Stack up and check the lock. Check. Oh, Honey. sorry about that. I had something stuck between my teeth. This Bit of apple. Yeah. Like that's not nice. Okay. Uh, you're building up so, tension just by being near this door. I want to find out what's inside. Bang. Clear it. So this is the other oh. entrance that you can take. <laughs> Look away from the flashbang. That was a... Uh, I have to say that was a real crapshoot because he could quite easily have shot his hostage there, I believe. Mm, there was another one in here as well, I believe. Oh, dang. Oh, but either way, if one's on their knees now, we're just going to tie up the loose ends and arrest everyone. And that will be the end of SWAT 4. Oh, hey, cool. We're just so why, is there, why is there an extra 10 minutes on this again? Oh, I'm leaving credits. the credits in. The yeah. Credits, yeah. Well, with you. So that's the entrance where you come in, and here you can see that's not a nice entrance to make. Mm. Here, with this all of this balconies to be shot at. Roger There's a giant right. baby on a poster. I just noticed, but there we <laughs> oh, are. God. I am the, I'm a reserved officer, level seventy-four percent. That's about average of what I got throughout the LP. Go hey, you. Okay. Well done, me. Everything's secured. Everything's safe. Fantastic. And that's how it ends. Yeah. With no music over, with no music over the credits, just silence and a guy standing around waiting for something. Like his mates in the back of the van changing, and he's just bored <laughs> or something. Oh uh, well, I wonder what I'm having for tea tonight. Ooh, what's what's Emily things. made for me? Mm -hmm. I could do with some fish and chips. Uh, I've got to pick the kids up from school. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I wait, don't die. Gotta go to. Bill's p piano recitals on in a couple of hours. I hope I can make it in time. I hope he's been practicing, or he's uh, he's not going to impress us. You know, I've high expectations for my boy. Hmm. Yeah. You know, we got an A on his paper last night. I'm so proud of it. We're going out to Chuck E. Cheese tonight. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. Hopefully, I'm able to wash all the uh, blood and the uh, the sweat and tears away from myself before I get there. I don't want to go to his uh, pizza party smelling bad. Mm, mm, yes, yes. Oh, I've got to see my parents this weekend. They're coming around. Better fix up the guest room. Oh, I know. It's the worst. I never even used that guest room. <laughs> Fuck, when was the last time I cleaned that? Is that gum on the floor? So that is SWAT floor, everyone. <laughs> oh, I thought I was trying to keep that up for the whole credit sequence. <laughs> No, I, I'm Maybe not keeping that up for ten the minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ten whole minutes, Jesus. <laughs> Boombox music, yeah! My favourite music within this game. Don't Tell Your Mama yeah. by Newbie. I think, I think it's a... Everything uh, Short of Nothing by Research has shown. Tim, if you'd like to take your favourite Boombox boom song and just uh, place it over the video now, I would much appreciate that. Uh, yeah, why not? Well, hey, cool. So, so that was SWAT 4. Uh, there will be another video after this one. I'll be looking at Rainbow Six Vegas with David for comparison towards SWAT 4. And I just want to see a little 
uh, feedback from you. Did you enjoy this thread? Is there any way that you'd like to improve it or whatnot? What would you like to see next? Would you like me to play through the DLC at all? If so, then I'll I, I... play through that and do an LP of it. I know, David, you want to see that? Definitely, yeah. I'm the first one to throw my arms up and say yes for that. I haven't even taken a look at it yet, so I'll have to see what you guys want. And if anyone oh. in the thread can help me out with the multiplayer, uh, I'd be very grateful for that because I would like to do a video on the multiplayer and see what it's like. But again, I'm trying to figure out how to do it best. I'm not sure, of course, get all you guys who also have the game available to you, get involved with that, play a couple of games, make a video out of it maybe, just see what it's like. I'd really appreciate any help there. I know a couple of guys on the threads, one of them said how I can do that sort of thing. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna look it up now. You do that, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna continue to stare at my good friend here, who is just uh, minding his own damn business, just chilling, waiting for his friend. His friend's still taking a long time. His inner, mon his, of... inner, his inner monologue is still going. We've just stopped voicing it, really. S Sierra Frederick 1 said that I can use a direct IP connection. So, again, I'm figuring out how best to do that sort of thing. I, If um, I had a copy of this game, and if I wasn't playing a... If I didn't, you know, own a Mac... If you weren't awful at it... No, th this game's available on Mac, too. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, Mac OS. So, again, if I figured out how to do that sort of thing, I'd very much appreciate it. Any help from you guys? And I hope you all enjoyed it as well. Uh, we've been through some rough times together. I'm still kind of, you know, a little traumatised by the uh, Tyronians, as it were. <laughs> Quality <laughs> you know, insurance. I, I think that's going to stay yeah, with me forever. I'm glad it will, because then you'll never forget this friendship that we share. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're not turning this into a musical, sorry. <laughs> why Why not? Why aren't we? We should do that right now. Because I can't sing for shit. <laughs> me neither. Do you want me to do some like heavy metal screamo sort of stuff? I, I think that would be fitting for a for an ending to a let's play of a SWAT f simulator. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very fitting. Yeah. Game testers, uh, I, I am very tempted to add my name in in post. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, count! Just, it's uh, testing. I'm playing the game. It's testing it. Make sure it's good uh, for the internet. Uh, but but what font should I use for such a thing, David? Comic Sans, Comic Sans, Comic Sans, Comic Sans, Comic Sans. I knew the you'd say font. that, and I was hoping you would. But well done, well done to everyone involved in this game. You actually did a brilliant job, in my, in my opinion. Anyway, apart from the voice actors, you were. Ugh. Uh, I don't know the SWAT. Were... The SWAT voice actors were kind of cool. The SWAT voice actors actually were real SWAT members. Oh, there you go then. So. They did a good job, considering that they, they did aren't a professionally trained. Job. That, that shout button, that shout button, get down on the ground. I, I could believe that you were a real SWAT member by saying that. I, I mean, you must have done some real uh, Shchekov methods of acting there. Method acting, of course. Getting in the yeah, role. yeah. Did, very, did a very good job, is what we're getting at. Hmm. All righty. Hmm. Use, use Stanislavski's method of acting where you associate emotions with past life experiences. Well, very, very dangerous for um, amateur actors, but when you're studying acting, it's something you have to go through. Here's a question. Don't you actually have to kind of have experience in, like, you know, that sort of thing, i.e. human psychology, when you're a member of... to be a member of SWAT? Because One of my... Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, you're talking about SWAT members. Yeah, yeah, it's actually be a, to be a member of SWAT, you'd need to have a firm understanding of how people work, otherwise you're not going to be the most effective Psychoanalysis. method of... Yeah. That, that's in the training for the SWAT and actually normal police procedures, in America anyway. Psycho-evaluations. Oh. Mm. That is very cool. Here we are, the voice actors. SWAT player! 
Justin Gross. He's an actual SWAT member, apparently. Okay. It's like Holly. I, I'm guessing Hollywood is his real name and not his code name. And the same mm. Subway. That's his favorite restaurant. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Gramps, Gramps is actually the name of his YouTube channel, and oh, yeah. Python oh, no. is the name of his penis. Hmm. Nolan North is one of the voice actors in this game, though, and he's like a voice actor in every video game. So hey, is he sticking true to true to tradition? Well done, Nolan. And male suspect two, he really stood out to me. He did a great performance as male suspect too. I feel like all the other suspects were just like, ugh. They just weren't... I just couldn't male buy sus- it from him. Fred, uh, Fred's performance as male suspect 4 was subpar in my opinion. Oh, don't get me started. Don't even get me started, girlfriend. Triple snap. You can't do that, can you? <laughs> Not over audio, no. 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 Swap four. <laughs> okay, cool. I think I think Yay. we've um Okay, we've we've successfully talked for ten minutes about absolutely nothing. Can you just give me your overall thoughts on the game? Even though we've brilliant been hearing game, it for the past. You, brilliant game parts. if you haven't already, you should buy it and play it because it is amazing if you're into that sort of thing. I hope you all enjoyed my thread. Thank you for watching. I know this was my first thread and first LP, so it was probably not brilliant, but apparently some people still enjoyed it, and I'm very glad you did. That's my all thoughts, I for, well, really. My, my thoughts on this. Uh, I've never actually... I'm not usually into games like this. Uh, realistic games and also shooters. I'm much more for bright, cartoonish platforming, as it were. But this game well, games generally like has done nothing but impress me. I'm really, really happy with this. I want to go out of my way to play it properly and not just goof about like I did when I went to your house that one day. <laughs> you were shit at it. So, <laughs> just, yeah. I was running around with the paintball, uh, the paintballs and the beanbags just shooting everything willy-nilly. Yeah. Sod procedure. So, thanks for watching, everyone. This was a Sierra game, the same people that made King's Quest. Thanks oh, for quite watching. a lot of games, in fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Made on the Havoc engine. So, Thanks for watching, everyone, and goodbye. Bye. Bye. I liked that. That was good. Bye. But bye. <laughs>